Hi everyone, it's Jill Celeste with YourBrandingPower.com, where entrepreneurs learn how to grow a magnetic personal brand and increase their online visibility to attract more clients to their business. Today I want to talk to you about planning your marketing for the new year. You know, when you're in December of the calendar year, it's really the perfect time to set aside a morning, an afternoon, even a whole day to plan what you want to do from a marketing perspective for your business for the following calendar year. And I want to share with you four steps you can follow so that you can get your marketing house in order, if you will, for the upcoming new year. So the first thing I want you to think about is what worked for you in the past from a marketing perspective. Hopefully you had a marketing plan or some other type of documentation where you can go through and evaluate what worked for you and what didn't work for you. You know, even the biggest marketing flops have the most valuable lessons. And what you want to do is just think about, did this work? Did this something I want to repeat in the future? Did this kind of work? Do I need to tweak it a little bit and maybe run it a different way? Or did this not work at all and I'm never going to do it again? You know, what you really want to know is what was effective for your marketing. And the best way to measure effectiveness is to know which marketing tactic sold the most products or services for you and didn't break the bank, you know, that was inefficient from a cost standpoint. So it sold the business, but it didn't break, break the bank. That is an effective marketing strategy that you might want to repeat in the new year. So that's your first step. The second thing I want you to do is to identify a key marketing objective. So this is something like an overarching theme that you'll have for the new year. And for me, for example, for 2015, my key marketing objective is to increase my visibility, to get my name out there more and more and more. So by identifying that objective, all of my marketing tactics, all the marketing activities that I'm going to be doing have to tie into that theme. If it does not, then I'm going to table it for a later time because maybe it's not a bad idea, but it doesn't fit into what I'm trying to achieve. Now, you may be in a position where you need two or three key marketing objectives. I prefer to only have one because I really think it gets you on a narrow and effective path, but that may not work for you. So maybe just have two or three. But the idea is to identify what those objectives are and then make sure each thing you're doing from a marketing perspective ties directly into those objectives. That's the key. So if you do that, that helps make sure you make the best decisions on how to market for your business. The third step is you need to figure out what you're going to promote in the new year. So this is, this is kind of a fun exercise where you get down the piece of paper or your computer and you type out and brainstorm all the things you want to promote. Now these could be events such as webinars, uh, maybe a launch of an online program, or it could be even things like maybe um, you're going to open a different program, you know, a different uh, service to your clients. Maybe it's a, a goal where you want to land a media interview. You know, whatever it is, you want to brainstorm all the things you want to promote. And then, of course, cross off the things you won't do or maybe just put them in your idea journal for another year. But those will help you focus on what it is you need to promote. And remember, they should tie into those key objectives that you identified in the second step. The fourth step is, of course, write your marketing plan and calendar. If you've been following me for any length of time, I am always saying write a marketing plan, and that's certainly the case for New Year. Now, again, marketing plans are customized for you. You make it work for you. I like writing marketing plans for the whole year and then drill down quarter by quarter. Now, some people, that's way too arduous, and if that's the case, that's okay. Focus on the first quarter then and maybe just plot out some ideas of what you're going to implement for the second, third, and fourth quarters. But the idea is to write down what you're going to do. What tactics are you going to implement? What days are things due? What days are you going to plan? What days are you going to write? Um, you know, where are you going to need to outsource? All that type of planning goes into your marketing plan. Use a calendar, help you plot out, make sure you don't stretch yourself too thin because it's really, really uh, likely for a lot of entrepreneurs in the beginning to get really excited and overzealous and just jam their calendar full of stuff. And that's not realistic. That's not going to help you. It's going to help you burn out but not help you market effectively. So use the calendar to really plot your time. And for a marketing plan, it's up to you how you want to organize it uh, some sections you might want to include is those objectives that you already identified, your target audience, your key messages, a list of the tactics, 
with goals and you know be careful with your goals make sure you don't kill yourself with them and also um, include your calendar you know put the calendar right on the back of it and uh, that's a great marketing plan but you can vary that according to what you need so I hope these four steps will help you as you sit down and plan for the new year for your marketing Remember, planning is the most important part. That way you have a roadmap. You know exactly what you're going to be doing for 2015 or for whatever year you're starting. And it just gives you a sense of assurance that you have your marketing house in order. And that's really important as an entrepreneur. If you need other marketing assistance, please visit my website at yourbrandingpower.com. And until next time, here's to your personal branding success and have a great day.